Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor... Will be fine. And if he fires, he just come to work for me. Deal? Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, then Oswald has a right to be angry. Is there any proof? Your father and I hid our tracks quite well. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Fine. That's what it takes to earn your friendship. I knew you'd see the light. It's time we really talked. Power is an old oak. The trunk stands strong, but it's the roots that hold it up. And the thickest of them lead to Arkham. Arkham Asylum? Your father, me, Falcone, we used it to get our enemies out of the way. Drugged and declared them insane. It made it easy to take their things. Thomas was the doctor. I leveraged my political power to ease the transfer of assets. So that's what Oz wants to punish me for? His mother was one of our last... patients. You can hardly expect him to think rationally. Gotham was chaos before we took control. At least now there's a semblance of order. Listen, Bruce. Now that we're back on the same side, your father's last gift to me. They're yours. The keys to the city. Thank you. Hamilton. Call me Hamilton. Penguin's gathered quite a few victims to his crusade. But that's a problem for another day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prep for the debate. My door is always open, Bruce. Next time, make an appointment. Stay away from the debate. It's not safe. <laughs> Miss my chance to humiliate Dent. It'll take more than Cobblepot to keep me away. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. 
It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To hear their crimes detailed, first by a Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kinda crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I don't care, Harvey. You need to get out of there. I can't leave now. I mean, think of the message that would send to the voters. Bruce, I'm ahead in the polls. A win tonight, and I could take the election. And what with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. You've got some nerve, Harvey. Either we're a team or we're not. Oh, of course we're a team, Bruce. Of course we are. Just... Not in front of the press. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. No, Harvey. You can forget it. That's... disappointing. You have a good reason? Because you don't deserve my help. I thought you might feel that way. Right. Well, look, I have to go. The, uh, the makeup person is here. Guess they have to put on my face. Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't make this work out, Bruce. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. Just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. Now that may be true, but I can't ally with a violent thug. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? 
She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. This is no bar fight. They're coming with everything they have. Good. That brawl barely had me break a sweat. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? I know you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, and yes, a mass vigilante loose on our streets. The candidates will tackle it all. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, God damn so I'm sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Oh, Thank you for wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. The candidates will tackle it all. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Wait. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Maybe next time. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My towns are the brothers and sisters of God. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. And expose the corruption that's rooted your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. 
I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures! Chosen to me! Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Candidates, take off your masks. <coughs> Show Gotham your true selves. Tell them what you really think about the city you pretend to love. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. Wait for the generator to hand out because they can't be bothered with the damn job. Gotham's flawed. Sure. That city is it? It's plausible. It's beautiful. We're out of time, Batman! The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage! It is not true to save the city. Damn corrupt politicians! And what about the corrupt elite? The men whose fortunes are built on corpses! Men like your friend, Bruce Wayne! You're as bad as he is! Happy to look away from what you don't want to see! Roll the tape! Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot, you've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we were friends. Our boys played together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. Now you know. Now you will see. certainly know how to make an entrance. Go! Why don't you kick the crap out of hit? That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. Stay back, my poor old mum. So this is for her. You don't to kill anyone else. Wait your turn, Dent. <laughs> Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and he didn't even turn up. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. 
That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> in the mask. We need paramedics over here. Now! City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... they want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding, but for anyone. But don't worry, Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. 
Bruce! Bruce! 